Master! Most of these people, they're far from their homes. Tell them to go away. Tell them to go away and find food and shelter for themselves. No, Peter, let's give them food. Can we not buy what's needed? Judas, what do we have? We got nothing in the box. Master, we haven't got enough money anywhere. It would take eight months' pay to give each man here a mouthful, let alone the women and children. Look at this old dear. How's she going to get home without being fed? And how am I supposed to feed my children? Well, should I know? You should have thought of that before you come here. Peter. Peter. What do we have? Nothing, Master. We've got, we've got nothing. Do you have any food? I've got two shekels, anybody, Massey. Any food? We can't feed everyone, can yeah, we? Do you, do you have any food? I've got no money left in the box. Do I didn't spend it on anything. Any yeah. It's always the same, isn't it? We come all this way and we've got Do you have any food? Someone must have, have some got food. Any food. Has anyone got any food? Anything at all? Why didn't you think of this before? Don't you start on me! Why didn't you think of this before we went out here? Peter, you could have done it. You're in charge. Well, you you should have brought food along. Always thinking of yourself. Jesus! Over here! He must have something in, in There's a boy these, here! Bags, he's here. got some food. It's, uh, he's got some, some bread here, some fish. John, you bring him to me. No, 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 it's, it's only a couple of fish and uh, four or five John, loads. That's nothing. bring him to me. Brothers, you form everyone into groups. Come with me. Matthew, get those baskets, hand them out. And then you will see. The prophets foretold the coming of the Messiah. And now with our own ears and our eyes, we have seen him. My friends, praise be to the living God! Yes! Woo! Jesus! The feeding of the 5,000, well, it's a good, fun ending to the second act of the life of Christ. But, you know, it's always rather difficult for me when I have to be the person who goes to find the little boy with the uh, loaves and the fishes because they're always so naughty. They decide to move to different parts of the audience. And, of course, when I'm performing, I don't wear my glasses. So I can't see them at all. And I'm desperately panicking to try and find the boy with the loaves and the fishes until they kindly give themselves away by standing up. You know, it's one of my favourite scenes because those loaves and fishes, just a small little picnic for one little boy, go to feed 5,000 people, which is a kind of allegory, really, for what Jesus does for us. He tells us, take simple ingredients, simple things, just simple things in your life. Have faith and they will multiply. The more that you give, the more that you give. The more you give, the more you get. This is a moral absolute, and Jesus put it into practice by feeding 5,000 people with just two little fish and five loaves brought by a small boy coming to hear Jesus speak. 
And the great thing about the feeding of the 5,000, I think, in the Life of Christ play, is that every single member of the audience gets to receive a little bit of bread and enjoy the fun of a great big picnic with bread rolls being thrown all over the place. And it's wonderful. Some people think, oh, we should be, we should be uh, reverent and, and be uh, serious about feeding the 5,000. It's not what Jesus wants. He wants us to have a party. He wants us to enjoy our life in abundance. And that is why I hope you will do and share with us in understanding and enjoying the life of Christ.